nerds, hi yogis, Carly Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a yoga for, fle yoga for flexibility flow focused on pigeon pose. So to start we'll just do a little bit of a warm up to start getting into our outer hips, getting them ready for the pigeon uh, position. Starting here, like ground into the earth with your feet, kind of rock back and forth, find where that trinity is on your foot where you've got the ball near your big toe, little toe, and the heel of your feet really grounding into the earth. Lifting up through your inner arches, up through your inner thighs, extending all the way through the spine. Inhale, extend your arms to the sky and exhale. Hands come to heart center in your namaste or anjali mudra. From here, we still want to activate our mula bandha breath. That will help us get deeper into our, our stretches without having to overstretch the muscles. So inhale, think about inhaling in a 360 breath from your uh, the low belly, your pelvic floor, and exhale, squeeze everything in and up as you exhale through your nose. Inhaling here, exhale, and as we do that, we're going to inhale, reach up, exhale, bending your knees, folding forward over your legs, inhale here, long spine, exhale, folding, Inhale, bending your knees, prepare. Exhale, wave yourself, roll yourself up to stand. Inhaling at the top. And exhale, hands come back to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, so doing some waving up and down, some rolling up and down in our mountain pose. Inhaling here, long spine as you exhale, fold a bit deeper. Inhale, preparing here, bending, deep bending your knees, almost like you're sitting in a chair. Roll yourself up as you exhale and inhale to the top. Exhale, we'll do that one more time, inhaling up. Exhale over your bent legs. Inhale, you come a little bit straighter, stretch, extending tall through the spine. Exhale, folding over your legs again, finding that first edge of stretch. Bending your knees really deep now as you inhale and exhale, rolling in and up, extending to the sky, exhale. Very nice, we're gonna come into that fold again and take a little bit deeper into our hips. So inhale, you reach up, exhale, folding over your bent legs. This time, plant your left palm, your left hand under your left shoulder uh, bend your left knee a lot. Keep that right leg straighter for you, finding that first edge of stretch. And right arm extends to the sky. If you want, you can even rotate the palm behind you. Wrap it around your, your back in a half bind, opening up the, the shoulder. Exhale back to center. This time, right hand plants beneath right shoulder. Right knee bends really deeply so that you can have a straighter left leg, left arm reaches towards the sky. And again, you can rotate the palm behind you and wrap it around your back for a half bind, if that feels good for you, you know. And exhale back to center. From here, we're gonna take it even a little bit deeper. So inhaling, prepare, release it back into your heels bending your knees, we'll come into a chair pose. So you want to be able to see your toes in chair. You don't want your knees over your toes. They're really sitting back into your heels, really extending through the sits bones. From here, it's a bit of a balance challenge. You're going to inhale, lift your right knee into your chest, exhale, right ankle rests on top of the right leg just above, or left leg just above the left, left knee. Really sitting back into your heels still. This is our standing pigeon position. Okay, here for one more breath. Exhale, lift up. And back to your chair. This time lift, really grounding into the foot or into the earth with your right foot. Left ankle comes over right leg. Hands are in heart center. Really sitting back and think about widening your sits bones here as you sit back in your chair. In 
inhale here, back to your chair position, inhale, exhale forward fold one more time, finding that edge of stretch over your straightening legs and exhale fold. Very nice. Now from here, coming into a downward dog position, we'll get deeper into our pigeon stretch now. And if pigeon is way beyond where you are today, that is not a problem. You can do that um, standing pigeon position on your back. So do a reclined pigeon, get on your back, um, and then have one ankle crossed over the top of the leg, and you can work on deepening the stretch that way. But if you are ready for your full pigeon here, you'll inhale the right leg to the sky, exhale, Knee comes into chest, really lifting up and then placing the right knee behind right wrist. Now for pigeon, you want to think about extending your back leg straight behind you so you don't want it winging one way and the other, having um, your hips and ankle out of alignment. So have basically straight line. Here you can gently rock back and forth around your hips, finding a good position for them to be open. Your top leg, um, you can have your foot closer to you, you can have it up a little bit. The important thing is the openness in the hips, finding that good position there, and having kind of a stiletto asana in your top foot. You don't want this foot flex, otherwise you'll lock the knee joint and rotate it in bad ways. So flex it, shin is angled a little bit towards the earth, you've got your back leg extending straight from the hips, and we're finding that first edge of stretch and it can take a few tries to kind of find where a comfortable pigeon position is that's in good alignment for you. So take your time to find that. That's what today is about, is finding the good posi um, pigeon position for you. If you're way up here, that's totally fine. You might want to grab like a blanket or a block to bring the earth a little bit closer to you. And then from here, we'll do some waving pigeons, so inhale. As you inhale, think about pressing away from the earth with your legs, and exhale way forward. Inhale, lift up. Again, really lifting, create some space between your legs and the mat for a moment. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Very nice. This time holding, get a little bit low. Inhaling here, long spine. Exhale, you can start to walk your hands out a little bit longer in front of you. So this is all about finding that first edge of stretch and playing that edge, not just to the ground. And we don't want to stretch too fast too soon. And we can hold the pigeon a little bit longer if we do some variations with it. So take your left arm, place it in front of you parallel to your right foot and twist opening towards your right leg. From here, if you tried that half bind earlier, you might want to try it here too. You can extend your right arm, rotate it behind you, and wrap around your back, maybe grabbing your, your feet, maybe it's down here. Wherever you are, make sure that you're extending long through your spine, through the crown of your head. Doing that stretch your hips and making sure that your right hips are still rotating towards the earth. You don't want your right hip to lift up while we're doing this. And then exhale. Maybe you notice you're a little bit more open, a little bit towards closer towards the floor as we come back to center. And from here, we're going to moonwalk the spine. So walking, it's a bit of a side bend here. So your chest is still facing towards the earth, stretching out the right side body. You can walk the right arm a little bit longer. And as we're doing these movements and these stretches, feel free to adjust your pigeon if you need to. Come back to center. Maybe you've noticed that you need to bring your foot in a little bit closer. Or a little bit, or uh, don't really worry about bringing your foot farther up off the mat. Think about moving the knee, the top knee. That's how you'll get more of a stretch, is by widening um, the knee from the hip, not necessarily by 
torquing the knee and moving your foot forward. So again, adjusting the position as you need to. Coming back to center and waving the spine, tiny waves here, deepening the stretch a little bit. From here, we can take one final challenge, placing the right uh, hand in front of you, twisting open now so we're facing the left. You can try catching your left foot with your left palm, getting into the quads. Again, don't rotate off of the hips, keep them squared to the earth. You can always, you know, have your leg back here. You'll just work towards bringing it closer to you and arching more. You can even work on hooking your uh, uh, foot with your elbow and wrapping around. But that's obviously not where you want to start. You want to start at the first edge of stretch and work your way towards that. Then from here, releasing the leg, Strong palms into the earth, stepping back to your down dog, pedaling out your feet, noticing the differences between your right and left legs. So from here, inhale, left leg lifts to the sky, exhale, bring the knee into your chest, gently place the knee down behind your left wrist. Again, kind of rotate back and forth, finding where your pigeon hips should be. Again, you want your right leg directly behind your right hip, not winging in and out. Stilettoasana in your left foot. So your knee and shin are rotating towards the earth. You can kind of find that comfortable knee position for uh, the left hip, how open you want that knee. Once you've found kind of the position you want to settle into, then we'll start the waving pigeon. So inhaling here, pressing away from the earth. Exhale, waving forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale one more time. And exhale. Gently coming to that first edge of stretch. Remember that you can adjust your pigeon pose as we do these stretches. If you want to go a little bit deeper, if you need to back off a bit. We're holding this pose for quite a while, so you don't want to sit in a position that's hurting you or that's not doing your joints any favors. <laughs> now from here, we'll take that twist again. So right arm is parallel to your leg now, twisting open to the left, lifting up, grounding your left hip into the earth still opening your chest towards the left knee. You can stay here or left arm reaches behind you, rotate the palm and wrap around for half bind if that felt good. You can look towards the earth or towards the sky, wherever is comfortable for your neck today. Couple more breaths here. And gently release that. Staying low now, noticing where your hip position is. Into that first edge of stretch and then moonwalking towards the right. So chest is facing towards the floor. We're getting this side, deep side body stretch on the left side as we do this moonwalk. Any long through the crown of your head. Using that move of under breath to help deepen the pose, playing that edge of stretch. Now walking back to center. Adjust if you need to. And then exhale, little waving pigeon this time. And taking that final challenge, if you would like to get into the quads, left arm is 
planted in front of you, twist opening towards the right, right arm reaches behind you to catch the right foot, still maintaining our hips being grounded into the earth, square to the earth, not winging out the leg, finding that edge of stretch for the quad. And if you need a strap or a towel, move your foot's way back here, that's perfectly fine. The whole point is working where you are in the spectrum and getting a little bit deeper each time you practice. And of course, if you want, you can practice, work towards hooking your foot with your elbow and coming into a full king pigeon. And wherever you are, gently release that, coming back to center. These strong palms as you step back to your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. We'll do one vinyasa, just sink the energy here. So bending your knees and elbows, wave yourself forward to plank. Come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here for pair, rolling in and up. And exhale, sitting back being your child pose. That should feel really good after all of our pigeon stretching. A little bit of a counter movement there. You can even reach your hands behind you. And you can spend a couple of minutes in child's pose for your cool down or come into a final resting Shavasana whatever feels best for you today. Settle into that new uh, flexibility that you just uh, worked so hard. Or getting into the hips can be a very uh, emotional process for some people. It is a very um, tight area for most of us. It can be very tense. So definitely take your time with that one. Uh, and I hope that you enjoy it. Of course, that is the most important thing, but definitely take your time with it. Really getting into those deep spaces that hold a lot of tension and a lot of emotion can be a uh, very exciting time, let's say. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, sit in your child's pose, come into your final resting, your Shavasana, whatever feels best today. And do look forward to seeing you on the mat again. So make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, get notifications for the new videos. And I have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogi email list. So make sure you sign up with the link below. Namaste.